Hey friends, how are you today? I hope you're having a good day so far. Today's video is a review on the wig that I'm wearing now. And this is John Renault's Cameron wig. It's not the light wig. So we have, there's the regular Cameron and then there's the Cameron light. This is the regular one, but it's a petite. And we're gonna talk about that in just a few minutes. And this is the color FS6. 3027, which is Toffee Truffle, and we'll go over the color in just a few minutes as well. So let's go ahead and get into Cameron from John Renault. Cameron is a cute bob. Lots of movement, as you can see. It's just a really a simple bob. It has a monofilament top, lace front, and it's fully hand tied. We'll look at the cap in just a few minutes. So that's really, I think, what gives it so much of that movement. To me, it's like the perfect bob length. I feel like it's a really professional style for me. In fact, I just got back from work and this is what I wore today. I definitely really, really like this wig. It has a bigger price tag on it because it is a lace front, mono top, and hand tied cap. So there is a bigger price tag, but if you're wanting something that is really gonna last you, I feel like gonna last you because it's at that length where it's not rubbing too, too much on your, your clothes. Okay, so you'll be able to see that once I turn around. I think it'll this one would last quite a while. So this one I've worn four or five times maybe for four or five hours at a time. So not an eight hour, eight, 10 hour a day, but it's holding up really well, I think. Let's go ahead and talk about the measurements. The bangs are 10 inches, so no real bang, as you can see. So it has that 10 inch there. And then the crown is 12 inches. So crown 12 inches back here. The sides 7.75 inches. So there might be like a little layer. Yeah, you can see that layer right there. Maybe kind of hard to see with my wall. It kind of matches, doesn't it? But uh, there's a shorter layer right there. So 7.75 and then the nape is 4.5. And I'm trying to feel if there's an extended nape. I don't remember. We'll look at that in just a minute. This only weighs 3.3 ounces, so it is fairly light. It's kind of interesting because John Renault has Cameron, Christy, Kristen, and there might be one other one, and they're all kind of like sisters. I have uh, Kristen, which I've done a review on, and I actually have Kristen in three colors. So I really do like Kristen. So if you're wanting something like this, that you're not wanting to pay the price of that because you're looking at uh, maybe around $400, just depending on what types of coupons you can get and stuff. But this one, like I said, this one has a higher price tag, but Kristen doesn't have quite as high of a price tag. Now you're not getting the, the hand tied cap, the mono top, you do get a lace front with Kristen, but um, you do have permatease, but with this one, you don't have any permatease. I can do a comparison on the two if that's something that you're interested in, but they're very, very similar. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you go and look up uh, Cameron, you'll see the stock photo. The stock photo that she's wearing is actually this color. So the FS63027. So you can definitely compare it, you know, from what you see online versus what I have here. Let me go ahead and show you Cameron from all sides. ahead and talk about this color toffee truffle uh, it's part of the John Renault chocolate collection which they I think they have like four colors in that but it's FS 63027 so let's break it break it down it's a base of a six so I'm just gonna kind of lean down here base of a six so you can see like the darker 
colors here, that would be the six, okay? And then 30 and 27. So a 30 and 27 both are in that reddish range, okay? So it's a medium warm brown with medium and light auburn highlights. There you go. The 27 is gonna be the lighter of the color colors, and then the uh, 30 is gonna be kind of the more auburn of the the two the two colors and you can definitely see the highlights there so there i wouldn't say they're like chunky but they're definitely not blended that's just something to keep in mind if you don't love a uh, a chunky highlight then maybe this one isn't for you maybe something like 6f27 i'm trying to think i actually have a video on the john renault sixes you can see in there the different, like 633, for instance, is a very well blended color in my opinion, um, but it has more of the auburn than kind of a, a, it's a darker, like a six in a darker auburn, which is the 33. I've done so much research on colors. Before I buy anything, unless I already know I have it in my collection, I research, research, research about these colors. So that's one of the hardest things to grasp and kind of get under your belt is to understand colors. But again, you can see those highlights. And let me kind of, this is probably gonna move because I don't have a wig, wig grip on, but um, let me move it over. And you can see that I can part it wherever I want to because of that monofilament top there. So if I want like a little more lip because I normally part it on the other side, I could just kind of do that and have a little bit more lift there. I said that I would talk about the petite. Okay. This uh, camera comes in average. It comes in large and it comes in petite. It also comes in light. Now, I don't know too much about camera light, so I'm not going to talk about it here. This is just the regular camera. I do have a petite to average head circumference. I bought this wig on clearance. So when I saw that it was the petite size, I thought, well, I'm not sure I, if I can wear it or not. I don't know. I've never had a John Renault petite size cap. I was kind of hesitant, but I was like, you know what? I was getting it for a really good deal, a really, really good deal. So I just went ahead and got it. I'm going to show you, let me put my stuff down here. I'm going to show you what this looks like as far as the sizing of it with it being a petite. I've talked about on my channel before that my hairline does tend to come further down than a lot of my like ear tabs do and stuff. So this part here, it's probably a little bit more than what it normally is, but that's usually expected with me. Show you the lace front. I haven't shown you that yet. I can't really see but I haven't shown you that yet. It looks really good. They put those highlights there in the front, which really helps blend that lace front in. Okay, let's look at the ear tab. So here is the ear tab here. Okay, so lifting it up there. So you can see it there and where it comes down. Right there. Okay, so quite a bit of my hair, you can see all of this right here is my hair and it does not cover that. Over here, again, doesn't cover that. The lace front goes temple to temple. It's not ear to ear, ear, to ear it's temple to temple. What I think is no one needs to be close enough to me <laughs> to be able to be like, oh, look, look at that, you know what I mean? So when I'm just like this, I'm arm's length right now from my phone, and I think this is fine. Hopefully you agree. Let me show you the back and where it hits on me. Now, again, we've talked about this before. I do have a low hairline back here. And you can see this is where it hits. This is where it hits, okay? And that's because this is petite. Also, you will see when I take it off, that I let the adjusters out all of the way. That's not something that I normally do. Normally, even with just a regular cap, I'm pulling my adjusters pretty much all the way in. So let me go ahead and show you 
what the cap looks like. So like I said, hand tied, all hand tied. This is like a mesh that's kind of put over. I don't know how this would feel if you didn't have any hair. I, I don't know. I wouldn't say that it's like the super softest, but let me just show you kind of that material there. You can see there's my finger right there. Okay, so that's what gives it that movement. Here, no extended nape, so I couldn't remember. No extended nape, and these are the Velcro adjusters. As I said, I pulled them all the way out so that I have as much room as possible. Again, you can see my finger right there, and that's what makes it look so natural. Soft ear tabs in the front, monofilament top, and that lace front there. Let me just show you this beautiful color. It's one of my favorite colors from John Renault. It does have those kind of chunkier highlights, but it just adds so much dimension to this wig. And I don't think this wig is heat friendly. If it is, I'll put it right here. I can't remember off the top of my head. So again, there's that part, but you can part it wherever you want and you're gonna see scalp there. As far as styling options, honestly, I wouldn't do anything with it because that's the beauty to me of a bob. You don't have to do anything with a bob. It's there, it's pretty much in place, and you're good to go. Stick it on and it's good to go. The only thing that you might have to do, you know, just like you would any other wig, is maybe train the front. So, you know, put it back like this, put a little bread in it, put some water or some hairspray on there so those roots start to move and then you're good. I did notice today when I was having lunch that it was kind of like, you know, I was having to bend over because I was eating pasta, so it was kind of hard to eat. I would have liked it had I had like a little barrette just to kind of put there and there, but that's just the case with my hair anyway. I don't like my hair in my face, but really I wouldn't do anything to style it except you know if you just wanted to kind of pull it back you could do that like pull it back like like that that's the cameron wig i hope i went over everything about the wig that you would want to know if you have any other questions or anything be sure and leave them down below for me and i will try to answer you as soon as i can if you're not following me on instagram i would really appreciate it if you did this is my instagram handle i do a lot of hair content over there so mostly on that channel not that channel mostly on instagram is i do hair stuff so wigs and you know wig reels and pictures and stuff like that so i appreciate if you would give me a follow thank you so much for watching have a great day and i will talk to you soon bye